Hey gamers, today we're going to review the vintage game Quicksand. Let's check it out. Setup for this game is fairly easy. You just put the board out, you have your die ready, and then of course you assemble your little players. The players come in five little removable pieces here that as they sink lower and lower into the quicksand that you'll be taking out. Uh, players on their turn have a choice. They can move the amount of spaces as the pieces they have on their character. So in this case, each one of these guys can start off by moving five. Or if they wanted to be risky, they could also roll this die. Now this is a four-sided die that has two little alligator icons on it, and I'll get to what those mean in a minute. So at the beginning of your turn, the player will announce that they're moving the spaces their amount of their height is, or they're rolling the die. At this point, it doesn't make sense why no one wouldn't go the same amount because there is a handheld here five spaces away. Now the reason they have these spaces back here, you think, well, who would ever be dumb enough to go one and roll and sink? Uh, if someone rolls the alligator, they can actually move that player backwards X amount of spaces uh, that they have height on. So for instance, let's say he was a four in height right now. I can move him back. If I rolled the gator and I'm the red player, I can move him back four. One, two, three, four. Which would be unfortunate because he gets a handheld, he gets to go up again. As you see, the spaces on the board make you do different things. One of the most common ones is roll and sink. So if the blue player was moving around and he got to here and he got to a roll and sink, he would have to roll this die. Now any gators he would have to re-roll again because he's rolling to sink. So I rolled a gator, I'd have to re-roll until I got a number and it was a one. So I would take off one tier and that's how much he sunk. His feet are in the quicksand. And now on his next turn he can only go four spaces or decide to roll the die. Now as the game goes on your character can get smaller and smaller and smaller and as you see he can be nothing but his little hat. Now he can't disappear past his hat so at his hat, he is definitely going to be rolling the die or moving one as well. And uh, these things have you do different things. You can pull, you can add one piece to your part. You can stand on a rock and get all five pieces left again. Uh, you can hit a mudslide and slide all the way down. Or you can get a swing and swing ahead to the next uh, space. So basically a lot of classic uh, roll and move games. It has the similar spaces you would expect. And then right here when it says almost home, there's a special rule that comes in. You're not allowed anymore to roll the die. You're actually going to have to be moving the amount of spaces that you have. So for instance, if I'm here, and this is where I did my last roll in sync, I can only move three spaces. One, two, three. Now I have to roll in sync. I sunk four. I can't sink past my hat, so here I am again. And now uh, I would actually have to roll. That would be bad. I go back here to the safe rock, go back up to five, hopefully do better my next time as I go through here. But as you can see, it gets slower and slower and slower, but the first person to reach camp first is the winner of Quicksand. All right, so final thoughts. What do I think about the game? Well, you know what? I saw this game, uh, uh, I think last year. I kept looking at it. I was like, man, this looks like an interesting game. It looks bright. It looks colorful. Uh, you're sinking in quicksand. Not to be confused with the one that uses the uh, timers. Uh, there's sand timers. There's another game called Quicksand under the same name. That one looks interesting too. But this one, I was like, hey, that looks like a lot of fun. So I found the fa finally found the game for a decent price. It's kind of hard to find a decent price. Not that it's anything that awesome to get, but I guess just because not many people are selling it right now. But I found the game at a price I was happy with and brought it to my nephews. We played it. We had a great time. Uh, there is only one drawback about this game, <laughs> and that is just like walking through quicksand, this game drags and it gets a little slow. You're always having to stop, roll, sink, move, stop, roll, sink, or get up. There's not that many options. Yes, uh, rolling the gator, you want to roll because you want to pull that person who's about to win back. So it can't, but because of that, it can add to a long game, especially at the end when you can't roll the dice. So there's uh, a lot of it to like. I like how the pieces attach. Uh, we think it's funny as the guy, I mean, yeah, kids like this because they think it's funny when the guy's nothing but a hat 
all my nephews were laughing. Uh, my wife actually got to play this game uh, with me this year, actually, and she said, "Oh, that was actually pretty fun." So, uh, and she likes the you know younger vintage kitty games. That's that's what she loves the most. That's what her collection is mostly made out of. That and maybe 20% party games. But for me, Quicksand is, is good and it's fun for kids. I would never bring it out to my gaming group though. So you have to decide whether it's worth your time or not. Now for the prices it was going for online, no. If you can find it for really cheap, pick it up. If not, pass on it. All right, gamers, that's all the time I have for now. Until next time, game on.